Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at Megalof... What's that? You think there's something out there? You want me to close the door? We've been through this. There's nothing to be scared of. That, an open door? That's not scary. Look, I'll show you. There's nothing. There's no one out there. Nothing. Okay? But sure. I'll close it. Welcome back. Today we're looking at megalophobia. Megalophobia being the fear of large objects or large things. So fear of the ocean, which is like me, sort of goes hand in hand with this because they both share something in common. That's the fear of like, I wouldn't say empty space, but just scale, almost. The scale of the ocean is what pesters my brain. And the scale of like something large, like a planet, crashing into earth well there's other reasons to be afraid of that but like something really big you'd be like that's really big that could crush me that could do a lot of damage just this having to fathom how large something is it can be something that kind of trips up your brain if you have this phobia so i enjoy it because i don't have this phobia so it's my chance to get to look at something and kind of admire it while potentially other people are bothered by it which is usually the opposite of what we do here this is how saturn would look if it were the same distance from us as the moon that's cool that's really cool can you imagine i always love that in games like no man's sky or, or any sort of sci-fi game where you can see like other planets or moons from the planet you're on so cool i mean if this happened overnight like if i woke up one morning and saturn was right there like if i could see it from my window this big i would be a little concerned i'd be like that's not supposed to be there but then there'd be this little voice in the back of my head being like but it looks kind of sick though you know like that movie moonfall when the moon's like falling spoilers by the way but when the moon's like falling and it's like right above the earth and it's like ripping up everything because of gravity and stuff it looks really cool, but if that was happening, I wouldn't be like, that looks cool. I'd be like, I'm going to die. This is also just like that movie, but more importantly, I'm about to die, so let's keep running. Anyway, this 150-foot iceberg passing by a house in Canada. This is crazy. I can't help but want to go on top of it. It being paired with the water means I would never come close to attempting that, but like my little rat brain says, go up there. Come on, ice climb it. You get to the top and you do a triple quadruple backflip and then break your neck on the surface tension of the water or glide off the top. Fortnite style. Interstellar's black hole took over 100 hours to render. I believe it, but also I don't know, that's only a scale I can relate to. How long does everything else take them to render? But the black hole in Interstellar looks so cool. <laughs> a lot of big stuff in that movie. Time to hear the largeness of this storm. Nope, just music. Bro, though, check this out. This is a time lapse of a rainstorm. It looks kind of freaky. This is a very heavy rainstorm. So this is not what like all rain looks like, but look how it's not raining and then it's just dumping. It looks like it's just buckets of water. That's a really cool perspective. This is why I like doing this though, because it's like, what other context would you see this video in? But it's still a really cool thing to see. You know? And even if you're afraid of this, hopefully you can be like, dang, I've never seen this view before. Girl poses next to a tornado a mile away. Hey, don't do that. That's dangerous. This looks like some sort of like analog horror like edit, doesn't it? Slap some text on there that just says like, my dad is a tornado. <laughs> Making the Titanic's anchor chain at Hingley and Sons 1909. These people do not look real. They all look so upset. I mean, I probably would be too if I was living in 1909, but that is crazy to think that there was an entire chain this big. How do you move that? How do you drop the anchor? Ugh, weighing over 400 pounds, this is the heart of a blue whale. That creeps me out for just grossness reasons, not megalophobia. Ugh, that's gross. But really cool to see that. When have you ever seen a blue whale's heart? There's always that element to this is like yuck or scary or wow, but there's always this like, but I've never seen that before and now I got that locked forever. I can tell people what a whale's heart looks like now. We're learning. This is an educational channel. You thought this was a gaming channel? You ever ask yourself why there's no gaming in my gaming videos? Something to think about. A towering thunderstorm as seen at 37,000 feet over Panama. So cool. I'm so glad clouds look the way they do and not like they do in like Minecraft, you know, because they easily could just look like flat, uninteresting shapes, but they look bananas. This is like two flat layers. The fact that they come out so flat sometimes, and then there's also the ones that do this big poofy thing. I wish I could 
tell you what each layer is called because I used to know, but um, Nimbus, something else. Come on, I can't do this. Right after saying that this is an educational channel. Okay, we got Stratus, Nimbostratus. <laughs> okay, so I was wrong on every account. Okay, so in this image we're looking at who the heck knows? This could be whatever the heck you want to call it. In Egypt, the modern city is where the riverbed and banks of the River Nile used to be. Cool picture. The pyramids are something I would like to see in person someday. I just, I have heard that like they're very commercialized. I don't know if that's quite the right word, but it's very hard to get very close without paying a fortune. And then there's like a, just a bunch of scammers that hang out because it's just a, obviously a huge tourist attraction. So, um, but at the same time, I think I still want to, I think I still want to see the pyramids with my own eyes because they just look crazy. These are like good sized buildings down here. They look, they look like little baby toys. They look like little Legos compared to these pyramids. And you know what? Everyone talks about these two pyramids, but what about that little guy? He's doing his best back there. I'm going to go check out that guy. Does anyone ever go visit him? Terrifying New Zealand airport. Look, man, I'm a fan of the Lord of the Rings and all that stuff, but this is freaky and I feel like you could have picked something better. Like, hey, welcome to New Zealand. They filmed Lord of the Rings here, by the way. Of all the things to choose to put in the airport, we're going to put Gollum grabbing a fish right above your head when you're trying to get your work done. Imagine you're stressing out and thinking you're gonna miss your flight or, or maybe you miss your flight and you're sitting here and you look up and get jump scared by this guy looking at you. The view on your way to the world's biggest statue. Here we go. Bro. Is that Aang? <laughs> I'm joking. That's cool. This is an active volcano on the Kamchatka Peninsula. Crazy big. That's a big one. What? Title is giving me the creeps for real. I don't know, man. If it didn't look like your average anime girl, I'd think it'd be creepier. The idea of some giant like eldritch being getting to look at earth like this is scary, but uh, don't worry. If this happens, the weebs will know what to do. Labyrinth seen from Hellraiser 2 never sits well with me. Whoa. Whatever this is, I should watch it. This looks cool as heck. This also looks like a Destiny 2, like a raid. We gotta blow up the thing. We gotta, we gotta stop the triangles. The world's largest redwood sculpture carved from a single tree over three years in Wuhan, China. One tree. That's just a huge tree. Amazing work. I don't know if they did some like of their own coloring in here, but it looks fantastic. How you get these like variety of like tannish reddish to like dark brown reddish. Like it just looks really cool. 20 ton anchor and it's 30 ton chain. Dude, anchors look, look crazy these days. If I didn't know it was an anchor, I'd be like, oh no, they're pulling transformers out of the ocean now, dude. Vertical living in Hong Kong. This is bananas. My organizational brain says this is so efficient, I love this, but it also is terrifying to think about like the claustrophobia angle of this if you're not used to this. And then also that's a big building. Imagine like you order a pizza or something and you're like, yeah, just bring it up to uh, the front door. I'm in apartment 6,552, just leave it out front, thanks. And then you're the pizza guy, you're in there for like three and a half years looking for it. When the storm comes in fast and you're on top of a tower, Oh, no, no, no. Oh, what does that feel like? I bet those things sway in the wind. German hydraulic steel press, human for scale. Ooh, hoo, hoo, look at these little guys. Actually, those are regular guys. This is a big thing. That's crazy. Engineering blows my mind every time. The fact that we can make this and it can do something that we want it to do. I mean, imagine making this and it doing nothing. You're like, we made this big thing and everyone's like, what does it do? And we're like, ah. This works, this does something crazy. And this is like a long time ago. This is old. We do way more than this now, of course. But it's just like, man, we, we, we're making some stuff, man. Here we go. Second largest hole in the world. <laughs> What's the first largest hole in the world, eh? Um, Eastern Siberia. So this is like a mine, yeah? I wanna say it's a diamond mine just because of Minecraft, but this is, this is not. Is it snowing outside? Hold on, no. It's 48 degrees, but I swear there's little like floaties. I don't know, man, it might be, might be snowing at 48 degrees. It's a, it's a scientific miracle right outside my window. But yeah, let me get back to filming. That's so important to you. I'll call NASA later. 
This feels like a necessity for the subreddit Chesapeake Bay Bridge. Crazy. And having two big bridges next to each other it means you could like look over and be like, hey, I'm kind of on that right now, you know? Like I'm constantly driving over the Bay Bridge into and out of San Francisco. And it's a big bridge. There's a couple of them that you go across to, but the Bay Bridge is the biggest one. I've gone across the Golden Gate a couple times, but every time you're on it, you can kind of like pretend that you're not because you're still just on like a road. But then you look at it from the other side or from when you're, when you're not on it and you're like, dang, that's so weird that I drive across that. Bridges of this like length and caliber are such a, a huge humanity moment of just like, oh, there's a big bay here of water hundreds of feet deep screw it we're driving our cars across that thing these massive cranes and light nets the crew from the last of us used to light up a set which was built from scratch so cool the show is so practical feeling i can't speak for how much of it is practical this is a really good sign of course they like built a neighborhood like an old rundown apocalyptic neighborhood they just built it big lights big cranes like you imagine like filming your scene knowing these gigantic lights are just dangling above you by like these <laughs> these just skinny looking cranes yikes <laughs> is that stuck there or is that there on purpose is it supposed to look like a lego head or is it just a smiley face these are the questions that i ask myself that i do not get the answers for the fast telescope f-a-s-t is that an acronym the fast telescope in china is the world's largest at half a kilometer diameter this is a telescope this is how I know there's a lot that I don't know. And it's a good thing for me because I can be kind of a know-it-all sometimes, but this, I look at this and I'm like, look, it says it's a telescope. That looks like a bowl, my friend. I look at this and I see a Battlefield 4 map. Also, that's like a, a car right there. You see that? This thing is huge. Can you imagine skateboarding down this thing? Man. <laughs> oh, I think we've seen this one before, maybe? No, this is a different one. The world's largest passenger airplane approaching London Heathrow Airport. Oh my gosh, dude. The way it comes out of the clouds is so ominous, but so cool. It's like hard to get the scale of it at first until you see like this view. And then you're like, oh man, that thing's big. Titan. I always love this art style where it's like sort of simple. I don't know what you call it. It looks really cool. Uh, whoa. Took me a second to realize this was on purpose. <laughs> wow, I thought they were just crashing. So they just run the boat right onto land over like these big sausages. Dang. Okay, let's do a few more. We see this one like every month, but what's one more time? Those are little boats down there. This sea cliff is big, very scary. Earth next to Jupiter. Yep, this is Photoshop, guys. This isn't real. <laughs> I don't even see Jupiter up there. See, look, because this is this looks like Africa, yeah? You're up right here, which means the North, North America is on this side. So I would look out my window and I'd see it right there. I mean, it's a little cloudy right now, but fake, fake. Okay, we're gonna end it there. Thanks for watching. That reminds me though, I posted that video maybe two months ago of me making those horror TikToks. Check out the video if you want. It's actually, I think, pretty good. Um, but I posted two of the horror TikToks I made as shorts to this channel. And they're so absurdly obviously fake because I made them as a joke. But one of them's getting like a couple thousand views every day right now. And all the comments are people saying it's obviously fake. It's like a, definitely kids finding it. If you watch it as like an adult, you can easily tell it is a joke of a video. <laughs> like it's supposed to be stupid. I'm like, oh, that chair's moving. And there's like arms pulling it by a super obvious string. And all the comments are people being like, I can see the hands, bro, fake. I'm not stupid. You think you could trick me? It's really funny. Hopefully you enjoyed this. We're gonna do probably Sons of the Forest again soon. I'm not gonna play the whole game through or anything, but I'll probably do another part or two of it because it was fun. And then we'll do a water video soon. And I also found my old childhood diary. <laughs> this is from 2006 and onwards from when I was like 12, 13. Um, I wrote a bunch of really cringy stuff in here and uh, I might read it on video someday in the near future. So stick around for that. Provided of course it 
translates how I'm hoping to a video, but I think that'd be really funny to just kind of cringe at kid me together. <laughs> you can just watch me die on the inside reading this stuff. So stick around for that. And uh, yeah, appreciate you guys. Thanks for all the love and support for my channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.